Hey, what's up everybody and welcome. Welcome to Jazz and Marty. I'm Marty and this is part two of our DIY Ric Flair Robe 2 point. Oh, all right, now if you haven't checked out part one, I'll put a link here on the description box down below. Over there, you'll find everything that you need in order to make this project. Also, uh, we went over how to put the butterflies on the robe, how to put the Nature Boy logo on the robe, and how to make the sleeves for your robe. Now, in this video, we're going to go over how to put the sequins on the neck and the back of your robe, how to put the rhinestones on, and how to put the boas on the collar and the sleeves of your robe, all right? Now, uh, before we hop into it, uh, I wanna make a quick announcement. There are gonna be some changes coming to the channel in the early beginning of the new year, and I want you to be there with me. So hit that like button and that subscribe button, and then make sure you hit that notify bell. Uh, it's super free, and it helps us out a whole lot, all right? Now, I think that's about it. Without any further ado, let's hop into this thing, baby. All right, y'all, now let's start with the sequins that goes on the collar and on the back of the robe, okay? So the first thing I did was I removed the belt completely out of the robe. Now, I removed it so I can adjust it to make it look like the butterfly robe. Now, when you get a bathrobe like this, when you tie it, it the, the belt kind of lays like maybe at your thigh or your, like your knee. But when you look at the, the Ric Flair robe, the belt lays all the way at the bottom. So that means it needed to be extended out of the back. So like I said, I, I took the belt out of the robe. Let's assume that this is our belt. I folded it in half like this. And I grabbed my scissors and I cut it and I sat it to the side. All right. So the next step was I measured that waist on the back of my robe. And then once I got that measurement, I came over to my sequins and I cut that measurement out of the sequins in my robe. Let's assume that this is the sequence. All right. So let's assume that that measurement was about like right here. All right, now once you have your cut sequins, it's gonna be kinda of big, so you're gonna to have to fold it over to kinda of get that shape that you want it. So you're gonna wanna fold it over like this, and you're gonna to wanna to glue it to itself. You should have something that kinda of looks like this in the back. Just fold it over and glue it, all right? Now, you want to take your belt and you want to glue it to the edges of that sequence piece. Just making sure that everything is lined up perfectly. And when you finish, you should have something that kind of looks like this. All right, now next, I hot glued my sequence to the back of my robe like right here, okay? Now I'll insert a picture here of what that kind of looks like. All right, now let's assume that this is our black fabric, okay? So I, I went back to my black fabric and I kind of wanted to make the edge around the uh, sequins, give it like, make it look kind of cir like circle-esque. So I, um, I cut two shapes out of my black fabric and I'm going to show you what those shapes look like here. So these are the shapes that you want to cut out of your black fabric. Just make sure that you measure this part of your sequence because you want it to be maybe like a uh, quarter of an inch or like a half of an inch over that. So you want it to be slightly half of an inch larger than the edge of where your sequence is, okay? Now when you have this, you wanna cut it out and you wanna glue it right here on the edges of the sequence. 
and when you finish you should have something that basically looks like this okay now when that's all done and this is hot glued to the back of your robe you want to put it on and you want to tie your robe together and you want to see where your uh, your belt lays and then you want to cut it accordingly okay all right and like I said and when it's all said and done the back should look like this and that, that's pretty much it let's move on to the next step all right now let's work on the collar so the first thing you want to do is you want to figure out where you want your sequence to start on your collar so uh, I had mine start right here where this part of the collar and this part of the collar kind of meets just right here it's just it's real easy it's right there when you look at it I started my sequence right there then I grabbed my tape measure uh, the fabric one and I measured the uh, entire collar from this part to this part with my fabric tape measure now once I had that measurement I, I used the rest of my uh, sequence table runner and I cut that measurement out of my sequence table runner okay now when you look at the flare rope it's not really that big so I needed to fold my uh, sequence runner over just like we did with the backing and uh, just to make it slightly taller and the reason that we do that is because when you go to cut this sequence it it kind of makes it look really jagged and and it doesn't really look that good so you needed to fold it onto itself so you can have those straight lines or whatever so once I was finished my uh, sequence collar piece looked something like this now mind you this edge right here was maybe about four or five inches probably about four inches okay so then I took my uh, sequence collar and I I started where the uh, the end of my collar right here is and I kind of glued the edge and folded it over so let me head over to my cell phone camera real quick so I can actually show you what that looks like on a rope alright y'all so we over here at the robe and this is what the sequence looks like on a robe once the finished product but let me open this up here right here is where I started gluing my sequence onto the robe so I kinda just folded it over the edge here glued one piece here then glued the other edge here and then I kinda slowly ran it across the collar of the robe just gluing as I went along and then when you get down here you did the same thing to kind of close it out now I don't mind it because this entire piece gets covered up by the boa but then I added a little velcro right here just to make sure everything stayed in place but that's that's pretty much it with the the sequence you just want to glue it edge front edge back glue it around the collar and then connect it down here with gluing the edge on the front and on the back kind of making that little edge right there all right all right y'all now let's get to the most tedious part of this project and that is gluing these rhinestones onto the robe now this rhinestones this sorry <laughs> this robe has about 3,000 rhinestones on it okay so it took me I had to take it took me a while I would do some here some there so it's not like a really quick project this is going to take you a minute but let me show you the process of gluing these rhinestones on so the rhinestones you get kind of looks like this the kit which I leave a link down below has the glue and the tweezers on it okay I also leave a link down below to where you can get the rhinestones everything that I used in this project is down below baby alright so the process of 
putting the glue on the rhinestone is easy and also irritating at the same time. So you wanna take your tweezers, grab your rhinestone on a flat surface, and you wanna pick your rhinestone up. Then you wanna take a little bit of the glue that you get, put a dab on the end, and then lay that right. Take two. Lay that right on a robe like this, okay? Then you wanna give it a little press with your tweezers, and that'll keep everything in place. It's pretty quick setting, so just give it a little tap and then you can move on to the next one, all right? Now let me show you the pattern of how I did the rhinestones. That way, if you wanna follow that pattern, you can. All right, so in a nutshell, this is the pattern that I, I followed along the entire robe. I'll put one down, then two, then one, then two, then one, then two, then one, then two. Then one, then two. And then when I got to the next row, I put one here, then one here, and then it just one there, and then one there, and then that's how it just went throughout the entire row. It's kind of self-explanatory. One here, one here, and then when you get up here, you put one here. Let me let me just do it so you can see. All right, so basically, it's like that, okay? Pretty simple, plenty self-explanatory. Once you get rolling, everything will fall into place, all right? Now let's go uh, move on to the next step. But before we do that, here's a quick word from the sponsor of today's video. It's me, y'all. I am the sponsor of today's video. Now, uh, what people do know is that I have a son. His name is Miles, he'll be one soon. Uh, what people don't know is that I have been working on a little project, okay? Uh, if your son is like mine, or if your child is like mine, uh, they like to get on your nerves just a little bit, just a wee bit. If it isn't screaming in your ear, or talking while you're trying to watch your program, or just climbing and, you know, doing all the stuff over you, you know, with love, it tends to get on your nerves, right? So I have the perfect thing for you, all right? So the project I've been working on is entitled DIY Kids Letter Tracing. Now, uh, basically what it is, it teaches your children how to uh, trace their letters and their numbers, and it also has uh, coloring pages in it, right? Countless hours of joy from your children and silence for you. Now, I've um, plopped this book down in front of Miles, and I turned away for a split second, right? I turn back around and he is looking like this. A pure scholar, baby, all right? So, um, I'm not trying to show you anything. You know, I'm not trying to sell you anything. It feels like somebody wants to sell me something. <laughs> I told you he was on to us. Uh, if you want to check it out, I'll leave a link in the description box below. And if not, you know, I still love you anyway, all right? Now let's continue this video. All right, y'all, now we are in the home stretch of the rope. This is the final step, and it's the most easiest and self-explanatory step in this process, okay? Finally, what you wanna do is you wanna put your boas onto your rope. And you know how we do that? Hot glue, baby easy we just hot glue the boas onto the rope so basically what I did was I laid my robe out on my flat surface I started from the edge here I glued a piece of my boa here then I wrapped my boa around and then I hot glued another piece connecting it kind of like that okay so like I said started back here glued the bow on the back, then brought it all the way around to the front, and then glued it right there, and then that, and then cut it, and then that way I could just hot glue the rest of the bow onto that edge just to make give it more security, okay? And you wanna do that for both of your sleeves, and then you also wanna kinda, you wanna do that for your robe. Now, the interesting part of the uh, flare robe is 
is that the boa kind of sits back behind this collar here. So, but it makes kind of a V shape to, to, to hide everything. So it's not like the boa all just comes all the way down. It kind of makes a V shape across here to just kind of hide everything and keep everything, you know, hidden. So what I did was I started from this end here, which is uh, on this side. And then you, I hot glued it around the entire part and back of my collar. And then when I met it back right here, I had to cut it and then glue it. That way everything kind of, you know, looked symmetrical. Let me show you on my cell phone real quick. All right, y'all, so you kind of see right here where I started. So I just hot glued here, I started here, and then I went around the entire shoulder and back and collar area of the rope, hot glued everything down. And then when I got here, I kind of went over the edge just a little, just so it can hide everything. See that? That way, when I put it together, it makes that that way when I put it together it makes that V shape that I was talking about you can kind of see it here so like I said you start from here go all the way around the collar you in here give it a little extra on the end to kind of tie everything together and give it a nice little fluff and you got that V shape that you are looking for that's also in the uh, original rope all right, y'all, so that, now that's pretty much it. The only thing that I added uh, that I didn't show in the video was, I well, I actually did a little bit. I added Velcro on the inside of the rope here and here. That way, when I put it on, it stays together. And then I also added some Velcro on the inside of the rope here and uh, just here on the inside and then on the outside of the other piece here that way when I put it together it stays together it won't like open up and show your bits or anything like that all right all right now that's that, that's 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 pretty much it thanks for hanging in there let's head back to me all right y'all now if you like this video please hit that like and that share button and head over to the Jazz and Marty Facebook page where I always post some updates on DIY and craft videos. And if you want more pictures of the rope, they're on our Facebook page and on our Instagram. But we're not just on Facebook and Instagram. We're also on TikTok. We're everywhere, y'all. Just look for us. Um, I think that's pretty much it. And like that, this will be the end. Peace. Change is coming. Stay tuned.